The big day finally came today, July 27th, 2022. The first responders rec center is finally open after probably close to almost four years of planning. Got a nice crowd out there. They had some shovel buses running people over from uh, the parking lot. Uh, you can only get in from uh, Route 42 by car, but there's a golf cart entrance over by Clearview Avenue. A lot, of, a lot of people were taking their golf carts there. And you can see right here, they got a crate, croquet court and the lawn bowling. They got the big, large putt and play golf course there. This is gonna be really popular. That putt and play course, I was really impressed by that. You just go over and get yourself some uh, putters and balls and go over and have a nice round of golf. They got a great uh, pickleball court and uh, uh, platform tennis, basketball courts, a walking trail, some fitness equipment. I was really impressed. I think people are going to like it in the, in the uh, wintertime. They got that fire pit over there. You know, bring yourself a bottle of wine over there and have a nice chat in the, in the cool evening by the, by the fire pit. I think it's going to be a pretty popular place, especially for the people who live in the, the northern part of the villages. Just walk right over there or take your cart and uh, have a nice relaxed evening over there. I think people are going to really love the First Responders Rec Center. There's so much to see there inside the building. It's uh, pretty hard to take in all at once. I'm going to have to go back over there again and uh, pay more attention to all the uh, memorabilia from the fire department there. I thought it was great to see a nice large crowd that came over here to uh, view this new center. I think everybody's going to be really happy with what they see when they get there. For all you people who live in the southern part of the villages, I think your best way to get here would be coming up by uh, take 301 north to 42 and then hang a right on 42 and then just go across uh, the railroad tracks up there. Uh, and I think it's probably about kind of a quarter mile once you get up a 301. You're going to see that big yellow Baptist church over there, and that's where you're going to see the entrance uh, to park your car. Cars will not be allowed to enter off of Clearview Avenue. So uh, that would be the quickest way to get to the First Responders Rec Center would be taking 301. That way you can avoid all the roundabouts coming up on, on a Buena Vista. Uh, you, know, you could take Buena Vista, but then when you get to 42, you, you'd be making a left up by Mulberry. Now these uh, platform tennis courts they put up in uh, the rec center, uh, first responders, uh, these are the first platform tennis courts they put in north of 466. I know uh, the people who play the sport have been screaming for this to be put in somewhere uh, in the northern part of the villages and their wishes come true. Now the pool you're seeing here is a family pool. It's really large. Tons of seating. I, I was really surprised at how many uh, seats and uh, loungers they have in here. There's like three different sections where you can enter the pool. Now the people who do live in the northern section of the villages are just going to love this swimming pool. It's really large, much larger than I thought they were going to put in. And uh, it kind of sort of reminds me of the one you see over by uh, Orange Blossom, the one with the waterfall. It's probably about that size and uh, a lot of people in there were really having a good time. Now inside the rec center, they got this entertainment section. They have these, this video game area. These guys are playing video games. And they also have Papa Shot, some uh, dart games going. I think there's four dart games. I could tell already when I was in there that this Papa Shot's going to be really popular. They also have uh, two ping pong tables in there, a couple of those uh, shuffleboard tables. And they also have these two arcade games in the center of the floor there where you could play Pac-Man uh, and uh, probably Asteroids and all these other old time games. I thought that was a really good touch that they put those in there. I would imagine when people are inside this building, it's going to remind them of the Eisenhower Rec Center down by the Brownwood area. And there's a lot to take in, like this uh, Chicago leather police jacket that you might remember seeing in the, the movie the Blues Brothers. At least that's what I thought it reminded me of. Once again, it's important to remember when you drive to this site, you can only come uh, off of 42 by, by car. You cannot use Clearview Avenue 
if you come by car. You can only enter Clearview Avenue entrance via golf cart. There's plenty of parking up here. I should add, and it's uh, uh, very easy to get to. I, I heard that they're thinking about uh, putting in a stoplight by the entrance entry there on uh, 42. I think that's going to happen. That'll make it easier for people to turn in here and also, of course, exiting out. You're going to really like it, like what you see when you get here. It's a great facility. My hat is off to the villages. I think they did a great job. I think it's going to be very popular, especially for grandchildren when they come to visit. You know, they can go out there and play that big putt and play. And then when they're done, they can go in the family pool. Maybe go inside here and play some of these uh, video games with their grandparents. It's a great addition. And I think it's uh, become one of the more popular attractions in the villages. Much like uh, that Eisenhower Rec Center is when you have people visiting out of town. Well, this is going to be the kind of place that you're going to want to bring people when they're visiting, if they're thinking about moving down here and retiring here in the villages. Uh, this area is close to Calumet Grove, uh, Chatham, uh, Piedmont, Springdale, uh, Woodbury. And uh, it's not too far from the Savannah Center, actually. It's probably only about a 10 minute golf cart ride. From Savannah Center if, if uh, you need your bearings as far as where this is. So go ahead, leave me your comments. I think it's great and you'll love it.